Hello wonderful person, welcome to What The Math, this is Anton and today we're going to actually not go very far in the solar system and explore our beautiful planet Earth and talk about the mysteries of our beautiful planet and specifically about one mystery that hasn't really been solved yet. Now this is Google Earth and it's a pretty awesome app if you've never really used it. It actually allows you to uh, do everything in three dimensions but also has some really detailed pictures of our planet Earth. And what we're talking about specifically is something called the bloop. Now, what is the bloop? I'm going to kind of try to explain it to you while we're actually exploring the map here as well. The bloop refers to a signal that uh, a very interesting sound surveillance system that was actually made by the Americans a long time ago to detect the Russian submarines. And that system is known as Sound Surveillance System US, which is also known as SOS US, SOSUS. Um, it actually detected something really, really interesting in this region right here. Now, this was a sound that I'm going to play to for you in a second that uh, was so loud that you could actually hear it from over here and also from over here and also from over here. It was uh, actually heard by uh, SOS's uh, hydrophones that were 5,000 kilometers away or over 3,000 miles away. Now, what was that sound? Well, we still don't really know, but it is known as the bloop today. And I'm going to play it for you uh, from Wikipedia here, uh, but this is actually played at 16 times the original speed. So just listen and enjoy. Alright, so that's really it, and this was 16 times faster than usual. This is what its actual frequency graph looks like. So there's the bloop. Um, now, it doesn't really sound like anything special, except of course that it actually has signatures of something that would be produced by an animal. So it's actually kind of similar to what whales produce uh, when they start their songs, except of course that it is actually much, much, much louder. As a matter of fact, it's up to 10 times louder than what uh, any whale would produce. And so a regular whale, if it was in this region, uh, you could actually hear it from around this far. So not, not too far, but also not too close. This sound, however, however was actually heard from uh, almost like the hemisphere away. So it was much, much louder. And the exact location is still unknown, but it was somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 50 south, 100 west. So kind of very close to um, southern tip of West South America. And here, actually, I'm going to show you what's in this region. And as you'll see, there's actually like nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And the depth here is pretty, pretty large. So um, it's not what I think was suggested at first. Someone suggested that this was possibly some sort of a really large iceberg, possibly scratching the bottom of the ocean floor. But because it's actually relatively deep here, it is very unlikely to be an iceberg scratching the floor. However, there is actually another logical explanation, and I'm going to explain it to you right after I explain to you why I'm even talking about this, because there was actually another article very recently that showed another really cool discovery on Google Maps. And you can actually take a look at this yourself if you go to Google Maps and just go to a regular map, this is just a regular Earth map, and then go to um, Antarctica and just kind of start zooming in here. There is an area right in this vicinity that is next to a place called this island right here. I believe this island is called Island of Deception or Deception Island. There you go. If you look at Deception Island, there's a, there's a spot right here. Zoom into that and zoom into that even more and you'll discover something kind of interesting. And this is actually what even got me to uh, start making this video because I just wanted your opinion about what exactly is going on here. And this was actually from a very prominent scientific website, and uh, they're also not sure exactly what's happening here, but it's quite obvious that something large is making a splash here. And um, there is a bit of a similarity to a squid shape right here. And also, if you actually look at the size, and I can actually show you the size of this, measure distance, the size of that thing is almost or over 50 meters long, or 150 feet, 170 feet as a matter of fact. That is a pretty large object. Whatever that is, it's a pretty large object and it's not very far off from where the um, original bloop was. Now, what exactly this is, we don't really know. But you know what? Maybe one day we'll find out. 
And so obviously there's quite a lot of speculations on why. Maybe this is the mysterious Kraken. Maybe this is the so-called Cthulhu from H.P. Lovecraft's infamous stories. Uh, and maybe it is just a rock. As a matter of fact, here's another analysis of uh, an area nearby that has these rocks that have splashes around them as well. So if you actually zoom into a completely different area, you'll notice that there's actually some other smaller rocks that have relatively similar patterns with splashes around them. So maybe it is just a rock or maybe it is something else. So here's, for example, another very large object, clearly a rock that has splashes around it, but slightly different from what I just from what I just showed you before. Anyway, so let's move on and uh, let's actually talk a little bit about this. So can this actually be the source of so-called bloop that was in this region? And now this uh, creature migrated here and made uh, an appearance on Google Maps. Well, here is where the math comes in. The chances of this creature, if this is a creature, appearing on Google Maps when they're actually taking photos and just so casually jumping out of the water to literally photobomb the NASA shot. With the, I believe this was actually produced by either NASA or possibly... National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. But whoever made this, you know, chances are very low for this to be a creature that just suddenly jumped out of the water at just at the right moment, especially if it's a rare creature. We don't even get uh, dolphins and whales jumping out of the water in such a way where we can actually detect them on satellites. Um, and I'm sure there is one picture of that somewhere, but it still hasn't been found. So it, it will be very, very rare and it's just almost impossible mathematically. But it is a mysterious shape and it would be really nice to find out what this actually is. Maybe someone one day can actually visit this spot and there's actually uh, the coordinates for it right here. It's minus 63.04 and minus 60.95. Um, if you do visit, let us know what this is and post it in the comments below. But going back to the bloop and the actual um, logical explanation of what it possibly was, uh, the scientists further on studied uh, similar noises and actually were kind of curious to find out if something else in this region made these noises. And they've discovered that there's actually quite a lot of very large um, ice sheets that actually do make it to this area and they float around. And once in a while they start breaking apart and create something known as an ice quake. And an ice quake does produce a similar graph to this, a similar sound frequency graph to what you see on the screen. So it's very likely that the bloop is actually just a very, very massive ice quake from a very massive iceberg or ice sheet collision or possibly just a breakup that occurred um, in 1997 that created this massive noise that we heard 5,000 kilometers away. But I guess what's ironic about the location of this particular sound is that it is something like a thousand kilometers away or 1500 kilometers away from the mythological location of Riley from H.P. Lovecraft uh, novels where supposedly the infamous Cthulhu is sleeping and waiting to be awakened. So this is actually why this story actually was picked up by several uh, news outlets because it actually kind of correlated with the location of the infamous city of the ancient from H.P. Lovecraft. But that, of course, is a coincidence and is very likely has nothing to do with the fact that there was actually sound made here. And not surprising, there's actually quite a lot of other unexplained sounds that uh, we have detected on our planet because uh, this particular system known as uh, SOSIS has actually been in civilian use for several years now, uh, for actually almost 20 years. And over the last 20 years, we've discovered some really interesting sounds that were made by various creatures in the ocean. And I'm actually going to post the list of these unexplained sounds in the description below, just so you can check them out. But there's something called Upsweep that sounded kind of similar, I guess. And uh, something called Whistle. And a lot of these sounds were basically detected by similar hydrophones. And we still don't really know what exactly they are, but chances are they're not really biological in nature and were probably made by some kind of an ice sheet or possibly an earthquake under the sea. But there is, however, one really interesting sound that was a biological. And this sound is known as the 52 Hertz whale. Now, this is actually really, really cool. There is a whale out there that has a very high pitched voice compared to other whales. And it has a song. Every year you can hear its song, but its song is very high pitched. It's at 52 Hertz, which is 
uh, almost the double of a regular whale. So basically it's a whale that sounds like it didn't really have puberty or something. And ironically, this whale today is known as the world's loneliest whale because it seems to be the only whale that makes that kind of a song. And here, here it is actually. Now this song is recorded every single year and every year, this, uh, every year this whale actually moves about 30 to 70 kilometers a day so we know it's a whale, we know it's moving around and we know it's a living being because it has a frequency and all of the signs of, of a living creature but it's a whale that is not really categorized yet, it's possibly hybrid or it's possibly a whale that didn't really mature well or something is different about this whale. It's not really a blue whale whose frequency is usually maximum 39 hertz. It's not a fin whale that usually have a frequency of 20 hertz. It is definitely a whale that is different. And is, there's actually going to be a movie made about it and possibly released sometime in 2017 that will explain a little bit more about this unusual creature that we know has a very interesting life. Interestingly though, its uh, frequency recently changed to 49 hertz which suggests that maybe it did mature a little bit and possibly has become more grown up. But nevertheless, even today, it's known as the world's loneliest whale. What a poor little guy. Hopefully we'll take a picture of him one day. And anyway, that's actually all I wanted to talk about today. I know this is not space related, but you know what? Ocean is probably one of the biggest mysteries very close to us that we know very, very little about. And there's still so much to explore in this beautiful blue body that is almost right next to us, literally right next to us. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to talk about something else scientific, mathematical or space related. So do subscribe and share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later, and as always, bye bye.